Hey, this is Harold again with a little video about Cubase and how to use your node names to adjust the frequency of the equalizer. I didn't know about this function until I saw it in another video by Talking Leaf Media. He showed me in the video that you can use the node names and the octave to adjust the frequency of the equalizer. And this is working in Cubase here in the frequency, in the new one, but also in the channel equalizer. So what does it mean, node names? You can see in the frequency you can turn on here the keyboard and then you see here your nodes and then you know exactly what node is what frequency. If you really want to get the exact frequency of the node, all you have to do is type in in the equalizer the name or the node and the octave you are in. So let me tell you this here. Let's go to the second one, to the second one. And instead of going like 440 hertz, we go A3 and it will go to 440 hertz. So I have exactly the A3 here. This is going here. If you go here, you can see that it's right on the A. You can also do that on the track equalizer. And then you have 440 here. Or you can go and use, for example, F sharp 5, which is 1480 cycles. And if you turn it on here, oops, you can see this is exactly the frequency. Let me check here. F sharp 5. Now we are here at 1480 cycles. So why you want to use this anyway? Let's just turn that off for a moment. Like here. Okay. Um, I have a little arrangement which is from the media bay, from the Cubase internal media, the rocket. And uh, it sounds like this. In this case, I know that the bass drum is tuned to a G. So if I turn it on here, uh, the bass drum is here. Okay. I know that the bass drum here is on G0. And if I want to get the bass and the bass drum a little bit tighter, what I can do now is, for example, dip the frequency of the bass drum in the bass. Ideally, you would use a dynamic equalizer or use some side chaining, but it works also here. So I'll just let's turn this off and go to the. This is the equalizer now on the bass. Go. Let's go here. It was on G zero is about 49 cycles. Let's turn this on. Like this. And now let's see how this works. This is now without the equalizer. This is now with the equalizer. So the equalizer is dipping exactly the frequency of the bass drum to make a little bit more room for the bass drum when it's kicking in and the bass is running at the same time. Okay, so I hope this was helpful for you. It's a neat little feature. Just put in the name of the node and the octave and you find the exact frequency what it's on. Okay. See you next time. This has been Harold for Hidden Room Studios. Goodbye.